Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Live with Brink of Speed and Octane Hour. Hello, everybody. Hello, welcome. How's Tonight, it going? We're going to discuss the ZR1 because GM officially showed it to us. Yes, they did. And uh, the internet is a buzz yeah, with the new ZR1 information. Good Everybody's timing for been us. Talking. Good timing. Ralph broke the internet. <laughs> that you know why they did it though because they saw Mike's E-Ray video with Jesse how big that was yeah. and everyone talking about it they're like absolutely we gotta just like gotta put get some, some, wa- some ice on this E-Ray conversation <laughs> Let's, we're gonna one up him with the ZR1 that Je- Jesse video that you did with uh, with his E-Ray was unbelievable but yeah that's Thank right you. yep that was it a great was fun, video man. that really, was a really good fun. video apparently you're an actor now too yes well nice job Jesse was like on Jesse it, was man. Amazing, yeah. Jesse was amazing. Like yeah. I'm like, man, he's really getting ticked at you. <laughs> I told him to. I, I seriously. Wasn't I told that a great him. video, guys? I mean, that was. I just... said seriously, get mad at me. You have to act like you're, you yeah. know, furious with me, like, dude. It's not an electric Corvette, all right? <laughs> and you're trying to plug it into the Tesla charger. <laughs> you're gonna hate this comment, but Kevin Horan just said he put 500 miles on his Z today. 500 in one day. In one day. Okay. I love it. Well, wow. All right, Kevin. Slow it down there, buddy. <laughs> Slow it down. He's Let's a, say hello to everybody. There's just so much Z to go around. You got. <laughs> we got Daryl D, Clay. We got Gary, Michael McCurry, Davy Jones, Randall Robert Swanson. Cirilli. Why do I Robert Cirilli? He's I see on. his name. Who? Wh- Lance Smith. Did we meet him at Carlisle last year? It seems like. Uh, I you think so? I think he has a red C8. Okay. Yep. <clears throat> By the way, guys. Uh, before I forget, we are giving away. Do you have that? <clears throat> Where's the... Uh, oh, right in front of you. The die plane? Oh, we're going to do the die right plane. Here? All right, let me go get it. Well, in theory, there's still time to enter, too. <laughs> let me no, see. there's no time to enter. I already have the names. Well, you're not supposed to say that. Oh, here, it's time. Here's, this is the dive plane. I'm on this the microphone. This is for anyone that bought a BOS t-shirt. Look at that yeah. dive plane. Right, so there's an ACS composite uh, nice for your C8 yep. Stingray. So whoever bought one of these shirts, whether it was at Corvette World or on the live, you guys, one of you guys is going to win this tonight. And if you're in the DFW area, we're going to film it and install it for you. Yeah, exactly. Right. Mark will do it. Now, do it. the only unfortunate thing is if you own a Z06, it's not going to fit. Um, it only fits Stingrays, but... Maybe hopefully the winner will be a Stingray guy. All right, so we got uh, YMB's uh, okay, on. Okay, so Kevin co- corrected his statement. He Kevin. has total of five hundred. Uh, uh, he didn't you know, just do five hundred today. Dang Kevin. it, Kevin! I didn't know Kevin had a Z. Did, when, did, is when did Kevin get his a Z06? He obviously got oh, it. Wow, must have. Yeah. Did he give us a picture of it? Kevin, tell us what uh, I, what's I your know. spec. I don't remember. I don't know. Keith French remember. is at his place in Destin that he was telling us and showing nice. pictures of. Beautiful place. Lucky you. We got Doug Hooks on, J.R. You know, Keith, Griffith. Keith sent me a picture from the beach. He was sporting some BOS gear. Mm. <clears throat> I love it. Diego John Perez. Somerville, De- yep, Diego. There's actually a lot of new names on here. I'm really loving seeing this, guys. Uh, Supercar Ranch. We got like three, 400 on here already. This is fantastic. Uh, we got Corvette, Corvetting Colorado, Corey Graham. Uh, yeah, a lot of new names I haven't seen. Uh, Tony, though. I think Tony is um, a regular. Yeah, River Mutt just signed in right there. Nice. So anyway, great crowd. Thank you guys for joining us tonight. Who who of you has seen the ZR1 video and who has not? Um, I will play it tonight. In fact... Did you Photoshop the clouds and so you got a rendering of it now? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. I wish I had a rendering. That'd be amazing. You know, the difference between this, the, the Z06, Z06, the ZR1 <coughs> teaser that they put out today is it didn't really have any kind of clues or hints. Like, oh, it this, did. The Z06, you could stop. Uh, there, there, the was, there was a hint on the wing. No, is there, that where you're going with the wing? No. Uh, well, we'll talk about it later. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'll talk later. Okay. But it was yeah. just like the, the Stingray and the Z06, the E-Ray had more to there's, dissect. There's two hints that I saw. All right, we'll wait to hear them. Um, okay, so this is the video I want. So yeah, did everyone on here, did everyone see the video? What, I'm going to show it. Was it released this morning or last night? Uh, this morning. Okay. Yeah. And when you show it, they'll hear the audio? Oh, yeah. 
You know, it's funny because because oh, yeah. uh, Mike was I was just busy this morning and uh, he sent me the video and I didn't even watch it and I sent it to like twenty people before I even watched you, it. And I thought, and I thought it was, for... and I thought it was gonna be really cool. I'm watching it. I'm like, well, that wasn't cool, but I was like, eh. yeah, yeah. It was short. <clears throat> it was short for sure. <laughs> A teaser. But th- is there any space that you can go and like stop and see something? Mm, I don't not know. We'll much. wait for him. There's a lot of clouds. There's a, a lot, lot of smoke. Of a lot of smoke and a lot of clouds. There's not a lot of, a lot of stuff you can dissect. Board enabled. There we go. Okay. Give me this. Paste. Option. Maybe maybe you and Clayton are thinking like a supercar ranch is saying something well, too. Well, he's doing that. Oh, Clayton's well, a smart guy. Sh- show you. I drove the car today. Okay. So I drove the car today. Here I am. I'm at Darren's backyard, and I drove my car. Just Which we were actually kind of surprised because it rained really hard earlier. Rained like crazy yeah, we were extremely surprised. We were like, surprised. I wouldn't drive on the roads today. And then he made me nervous. So so he Mouser. makes me nervous about it. Make, well, I would have driven my car today. I'm like, thanks, Darren. But then you know what the other thing you did, which was a dumb move? What? <laughs> dumb you par- move? You parked or? under that tree. You're going to walk out there, and the birds just had a... F- Hey, <laughs> See, you know what? This is why I don't drive my car. Okay, I don't drive You're my car. You're giving him a heart attack. You're giving me. So you don't a heart need to attack. go downstairs and move it. It's totally I'm going. Fine. I'll be about right back. I'm going to move my car. <laughs> um, I'm trying to get this to let me paste, and for some reason, it's not. Well, maybe I can do this though. What are we talking about? Yeah, here we go. That car's got bird poop on it, Darren. I'm gonna, I'm gonna file a there claim. There we go. I got it. Homeowners insurance. That's all I needed to do. Okay, let me <sighs> let me uh, hit pause. This is why I don't. This is why. And start this from the beginning. Crazy. And hit full screen. And hit that. And you guys get ready. Here it comes. We can't hear it. They can hear it. Unthinkable is coming this summer. Perfect. So you've got hints from that video. Yep. Yes, sir. Mark, you? What, where? You? Are we, are they can't hear us yet, can they? No, they can hear you. They yeah, can they hear? can hear us. Yeah, yeah. So what yeah. was the hints that, that there's going to be smoke that's, that's coming out of later. the tires when he's spinning? That's for later. All right. We'll talk about that later. All right. After we get over a thousand people on, then we can start talking about <laughs> it so that we can. I don't want people to miss in the beginning part of the show. All right. So you guys know now, for those of you who are on here every week, that we are brought to you by the NCM Insurance. And for those who are new, if you have not checked out NCM Insurance, you have to. By the way, I don't know if I said this last week or not, but I'm going to retell the story. Um, Michael McCurry just told me, I hope he's okay with me telling this. I think he will be. Yeah. Uh, check this out. Michael McCurry yeah. called NCM. Mm-hmm. NCM is saving him almost three. Oh, the guy in the blue thousand, shirt? Yes. Three yes. thousand a year. <clears throat> and I went up to him and I told him, I said, we want 10% of that savings. Well, there's, there's shiny, shiny fenders just at 800 plus a year he saved. Yeah. yeah. So I I save probably, actually, you know what, you know, actually, uh, because Mark, you know this, when you have the two Corvettes or two vehicles and it really goes down. Oh yeah. Like my 93 went down to like $120. (laughs) My 78 pace car, I spent $105 a year. Yeah. I mean, my Camaro was $33 a month. Yeah. Yeah. It's so, um, if you haven't checked it out and if you're brand new and you don't know how it works, the way that you get NCM insurance is you call them up or you, you go online yeah, go where on you're first. at right here that you can see on the uh, screen and you put in for a quote. Then somebody will call you and the way that you qualify is you have to have a collectible car. It does not have to be a Corvette. It can be any brand, but you also have to have a daily driver and you have to have a garage to put that collectible car in. All pretty easy stuff to me. Very For most easy. of us that have Corvettes, that we yep. check all those boxes. And 6,000 miles a year is the most that they will go up to with their current insurance. Per car. So if you got two cars, you're splitting your mileage between the two yeah. cars. It's yeah. And they have rollover miles. The rollover mileage. miles is the big oh, deal. Oh, the rollover is awesome. So once you go past yeah. the first year and you don't do 6,000, you do 3,000. Now you got 9,000. Right. But do you know, the and, next year. and there's something I didn't realize. I kind of remember that it came back to me. The other cool thing is they offer track day insurance. So That's if right. you are going to be on the do? yeah yeah. So even if it's autocross or doesn't well, matter, I'll be you, sure never ever use that. No, you've but been no, talking about kidding. doing the autocross. 
Uh, Not yeah. that you would need it for autocross, but maybe. Yeah. Okay. But uh, yeah. you can call them and get like it's a one day insurance. Oh and, wow! Uh, I did not know that. Versus doing it at the track, you can do yeah. it with you know just a phone call or an email to them or, or go online with their app. And yeah. uh, so that's that's good peace of mind. Yeah, Gary on here saved eleven $1, hundred a year. Jeff on here twelve hundred a year. Make sure you're you're mentioning it's, Brink of Speed when you're getting these yeah. quotes, just so that they know they're you're hearing yeah, it from yeah. us because it's uh really it's it all BOS started with me. It did. I really got did. these we'll guys on, on it. I want right. credit. So Adam, if you're watching, when I get there, I want to see that. The, well, we're already going to be in their tent, right? So, that's right. Yeah, we'll. That's actually that's, a good point. Yeah. Yeah, we got. So yeah, let's talk about the bash real quick. <clears throat> uh, any of you guys who are going to the bash. We will look forward to meeting you there. If you'd like to come and meet us, we will be around, but we'll have a station in the NCM tent. Invitation only to the NCM tent, right? Special, special spot at Hospitality the NCM Hospitality suite. Tent. Hospitality <laughs> suite. <laughs> yes. Yep. Absolutely. Yep. So. Drinks and meals, everything. Um, <laughs> drinks and meals. <laughs> no, but it, it really, we're going to have a special spot. If you're looking for us, we'll be at that NCM tent because, uh, yeah, they sponsor so, us. So, yeah. And, Come, come meet us. We'd love to meet you guys there. We'll be there, you know, the whole entire time, uh, Thursday through Saturday. So, yep. um, Lewis, Lewis says he'll see us there. He'll see us there. He's going to see us there. Yep. Um, Steve is on there. Steve says he was paying 185 a month through USAA, which USAA oh, is usually good. It's supposed to be, yeah. Now he's paying $62 a month. Look at that. Yep. It's enormous. You know, the bigger companies, they don't know how to underwrite those cars. They they don't they just well it's a specialty vehicle yeah it's special a special vehicle, vehicle and special driver yeah. if if you don't have you know accidents and tickets and all of that then uh, they, they understand what that is and they understand the low frequency of claims and of uh, the risk for that so they right. know how, they know how to underwrite that so yeah they know people like Mark that don't drive their cars exactly I the underwrite I help pay for these guys <laughs> driving and for hopefully not none of you guys out right. there yeah <laughs> okay so. The last two videos that I did, you're going to definitely want to check out. The first one is with Darren. We went and picked his car up, and we talked about it last week, but the video wasn't out last week. Mm -hmm. This week, it's out. Um, it's doing really well. It's already at like 20,000 views. It's doing good. Yeah, and hey, thank you, everyone, for the comments. Everyone was, most everyone was very nice. Oh, yeah. I didn't see any bad comments. Oh, there was a couple bad ones, but. Really? Uh, some people don't like red interior. Oh, my gosh. Um, if you don't like red interior, that's fine, but. Yeah, it's a choice, uh, right? It's a choice. Yeah, it's a it's all a thing. What did what did uh, Jesse say on your video? It was awesome, and he was talking to a lot of people, not just you. And oh, if you don't like it, then that's tough. Says, you know, yeah. you pick what you want to get. That's right. And there's always going to be somebody that's going to want that car. You don't that's pick, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was yeah. perfect. Don't yeah. pick a color or choice yeah. or something and i'm sure he's trying to think in mileage too mark right but don't like not do it's it like, for the like, next guy yeah, like resale red yeah, or for whatever, resale sure. red or yeah, resale yeah, yeah. he got what you like yeah yeah now, hey we've seen the caffeine cars now in the zeus bronze and we go you know what that wasn't such a bad car it's it's going to be unique yeah so it's yeah, yeah so, so. He, he made a good point but that video is really really great um jesse breaks down why he bought the car why he built it the way that he built it Plus, we had a little fun in the very beginning just to kind of get everybody in a light mood. and uh, It is so cool how he comes out to see you. You know, he's a race car driver, right? He's a, he's a celebrity. Well, he's a busy he's guy, a for sure. He's a celebrity. He's Mike a great guy. Is what he is. And he comes to see Mike, and they do the videos. It's really kind he's of cool because yeah, he doesn't do really that with other people. I he's don't a think. great guy. Yeah, really good guy. And if you haven't seen his videos, uh, get on his channel, too. He's got his Jesse oh, yeah. Uwuji, uh Yeah, I mean, on that video... The link to his video where he takes delivery of his E Ray is on there. Yeah. So. And what he does is he videos the entire dealer prep yep. section. Yeah. So he, the, the entire, so if you want to see the screens. Oh, his video, yeah. Yeah. He yeah. Gets very his video is great. Yeah, it good. shows you the, the salesman going through all the screens. So if you want to get to know it before you pick up your E Ray in six years, my great. <laughs> yeah. He gets yeah. His, uh, you can watch that and you can get familiar with it. There'll be really some cool. more content as well with that E Ray. <laughs> I love it, Supercar Ranch. You are correct. He said, nah, caffeine still looks like sparkly poop. <laughs> Stop, Supercar I, I Ranch. Actually, I don't mind caffeine. I really don't. Somebody uh, out there has a caffeine car. I don't mind By caffeine. By the way, uh, Michael McCurry said he's your man if you want to get rid of your Z06. Okay. Well, six months from now, things there's always another car for me in the future. There you go. 
God, I'd love to have that Seawolf grill. So anyway, <laughs> if you want to see my take on the E-Ray, go ahead and check out that video because I do give you my opinion. Um, I, I'm i not going to lie. I was a little bit skeptical about that car. I, I really had some thoughts in my mind as how that car was going to drive and how it was going to kind of fake people out, you know, <clears throat> making them feel like it was faster than it truly was. I'll tell you what, though. Uh, when he gave me the ride from the parking lot that we were in over to the electric charge station, mm-hmm. yeah, it took my stomach. Really, it took my breath away. Because you were kind of shy about cool, totally getting on it, but he no, got no, he on was it, driving. right? So no, Jesse, Jesse drove it. just yeah, Jesse he stopped at a stop sign, yeah, and he launched and it. Kind of. He just floored it, yeah, and it was like there was no nonsense, there was no tire slippage. It was, it was just, just like you just got pinned in your wow. seat. Wow. And I'm telling you, it felt weird to my stomach. It felt weird to my breathing up here. <laughs> it felt just like the fastest electric car that I've been in, which was a Tycan. Um, the Porsche Tycan. The Porsche Tycan, yeah. Yeah, that thing just, it made my insides feel weird. And that's. That's how, how I felt the, G-Force. Yeah, that's how the, the E-Ray felt. But and then, also, yeah. You know, while you're driving, and it's different than that because you're in control. Right. So you're ready for everything, but still, it rips you back in your seat. Well, and Jesse said that, I think you said it too, that the car just gives you so much confidence when you get it, because it's just the all-wheel drive. You're not going to lose control. You just take off. Yeah, it's just amazing. And I will say this, we didn't get this on video, but if uh, Trevor's on, Trevor has a C7 Z06 that's built very nicely, (laughs) and it has, To say the least, yes. He's seven hundred plus. I yeah, but I think to the wheels, I think he's six fifty mm-hmm. to the rear wheels. Damn, mm-hmm. it's a lot of horsepower. It's nasty. Okay, we raced. We did. Oh, you did a race with? We the... did a pull oh, from really? about sixty miles an hour up to pretty high speed. But you weren't racing; you were spirited driving. That's Let's right. Just be clear. And it was in Mexico. And <laughs> let me tell you something. <laughs> Trevor felt sheepish after that race. Oh, really? He was it's... like, "Holy." Crap. Trevor was like, I'm going to take this new Corvette. He was a little bit surprised. Wow. That his car didn't win. Wow. So that, I'm telling you, even in roll races, that E Ray is going to do really well from a certain mile per hour to probably 130, 140 miles an hour. It's going to do really, really good. Wow. So. Well, you'd also just, well, literally days before, had driven my car hundreds oh, of yeah. miles. So you were oh, able yeah. to have fresh. Yep. And don't get me wrong, the the Z06 is ridiculous. And I'm telling you right now, if somebody put them in front of me and said, pick one, I'm picking Z06 all day long, okay? But since I, since the cards did not work out correctly for me to get the Z06, I am super excited about the E-Ray because the E-Ray is going to make me forget about the Z06 for a while. It is going to be a blast to own that car. Yeah. It really is. I guess we're going to find out soon. The ZR one's coming out, so I know the ZR one. That's right around the corner. Bananas! <laughs> it really is. All right. So before we get into the main subject, let's talk about Darren's new wheels. Oh yeah, we have a video coming out. I but... actually wasn't going to put them on. I was embarrassed because I hate what? the fact that my car is so tall and it's got these big <laughs> wheel gaps. Listen I just to like him. Yeah, I love the it. stock wheel but gaps everyone, that was everyone, designed from the factory kept that way. You got to you got to put them on. You got to put them on. So for the, the vet syndicate well, with event, with the new wheels, it'll make it a bigger gap. No, or? no, no, no. It's just I don't like guys. What gaps. do you think of these new wheels? These are forged light with a D. Forged E D. Yes, forged from the light USA. Southern from California. the USA, California. American flag. They were awesome, <laughs> and I like the wheel gap. I wouldn't screw with that. I'd keep it like it is. Well, you've closed the wheel gap from stock. Have you? Already. With the barely. Wheel? Barely. But you have. Well, like two tenths of an inch, if you want to be exact. With the tire size? Well, and so the my wheel. tire size, just so people know, because, well, you'll see more video of it because. Oh, the, you're going to love the these, video. These tires are 14 inches wide each. These are the biggest tires you can get. They're 355, 25, 21s. 355s, which is the normals are 345s. Right. right? Which yeah, 345s but, but are you know really what massive. I'm thinking about today? Hmm. You gave your. That video is going to give everybody a preview of what the ZR1 is probably going to have on it. Really? Could be. I think so. I think it'll have 355s. Well, yeah, because there's, there's, already, 
Go ahead. Well, no, mm, yeah. There's already been talk between birdies. Yeah. That I know. Yeah. That the ZR1 will have a bigger tire than the Z06. Same size so wheels. And I bet you they do the same thing in the front too. Oh yeah, they'll yeah. make the front bigger too. Yeah. So so yeah. sorry, we didn't finish the front. <laughs> the front is um, uh, two eighty five thirty twenties, and these are all Michelin Pilot Four S's front and rear. So they're the same tires. But here's one thing. Actually, I told Mike, and you need to drive my car since I put the wheels on. What you feel the light? Oh, a hundred percent different. Yeah, yeah. hundred well, percent. How how different? Well, because it's lighter. It, it's lighter, but not only that, because they're not run flats. Oh, so it's a smoother ride. I'm telling ride. you, smoother ride, big time. Yeah, big time. Yep, more so than I ever noticed in my Stingrays. Everybody out there, do you know nor, uh, feel that the run flats ride a little firmer oh, than a definitely. car? Absolutely, they're louder. Yeah, firmer. probably heavier too. I mean, way heavier. Right. So yeah, yeah. probably between the wheels and those tires, I'm probably saving. Five, so what six, tires did you put on it? That you can get Michelin's that they're don't the, have the, run flats. They're the same tires. They're the same just tires. Yeah. Not run flats. Oh, you? They yeah. actually make the same yeah, size. Yeah, yeah. What's, yep. what's it called? Is it called something? Michelin uh, it's a di- but no there's a different X Y I don't know the code Slightly is different, different oh, model. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. but I mean any of your tire people look will at tell that you. I didn't know you could do yeah, that yeah. Michael McCurry says 13 inch rear right yeah they are yeah yeah yep, yep so they're 21 13 wide wheels in the rear and yep. 20 by 10 front and then again if you look up those tires because they're 355 they're, they literally are 14 inches wide so between the two I've got 28 inches of meat on the pavement on yes. the back of that thing. Uh, Davey Crockett, no, run flats. I mean, yes, run flats are standard yeah, I think in that's all a Corvettes. DOT thing, because if you don't have a spare yeah. tire, you have to do that. Yeah. Vet and I said I got rid of my run flats. Makes a world yeah, of difference. Yeah, it really does. Honestly, like I said, I didn't, I mean, I don't know, maybe I wasn't paying attention to my Stingrays, but man, I put those on, because that was my first, a lot of people told me, right, with the Z06, the, the ride was stiffer and harsher. Yeah. And for me, I'm like, I don't care. I have low cars and high trucks, like yeah. whatever. Yeah. But... When we were driving back, I was like, man, and we were in tour mode a lot too. Oh, yeah. I could, I was, and I, I told Mike, like, I, in my mind, I was thinking tour is equivalent to like sport plus, like the overlap. Mm-hmm. It's like a level up plus a little bit more. Because I drove your car with the original wheels and tires, right? Yeah. And it definitely felt, I thought I was in sport. And, and you, you, like, yeah, you asked me, I said, no, that's tour. That's tour. I'm like, wow, like, wow, this feels, it feels it's nice. Different. Yeah, exactly. But it felt nice. But when you put those, those tires on there with the out the run flats, I mean, wow! You know, I would like for you to drive it, and I'll let Mark drive it again. Well, too. that's why I did a um, video on my Stingray. And are those one exactly one inch, yeah. we, one inch yeah. bigger t- wheels on each side? No, 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 no. Oh, they're same. still nineteen no, the twenties. No, twenty twenty one. Twenty twenty one. Twenty twenty one. Yeah, that's what the Z six comes with. That's what the Z- okay. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Wow. That's what the younger so, guys are doing. So that's another thing about the E Ray that I was going to tell you guys. If you haven't watched the video, you'll hear this, but the E Ray. Uh, when the engineers were asked about the suspension, they said it was basically between the Stingray and the Z06. It was going to be smoother like the Stingray. And that is 100% correct. Um, yeah. After just driving his car, getting in that E-Ray, tour mode feels to me exactly like the Stingray tour mode. I mean, exactly. Um, sport hmm. felt a little bit maybe stiffer. Um, track so, so tour felt the same on the e-ray to the stingray yep well it, it did yeah well yeah hmm. well it'll be interesting because i don't know the answer is the rear shocks and or the struts are they the exact same from z06 to e-ray in the rear no they're not no so like i said the engineers very clearly said because the front's different we made the suspension for the e-ray in between they had to beef it up a little bit because oh. of the weight the weight of the e-ray is so much more than the stingray but it's in between the Stingray and the Z06 hmm. for okay. kind of stiffness. What's that ZER suspension again? ZER. ZER. So, no. ZER doesn't give you anything different on the suspension. It just gives you better tires. Gives oh, you that's the, all the ZER does? That's is, all the ZER does. Yeah. When you say better tires, what's the better well, tire? And well, that, that was the controversy. They're not better. They're different. They're well, different. The, Stephen the Rapper, argument, are you on here? But Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the argument that I make about it is if you buy a car... And it comes with the all season tires on it. And you're a guy like me. You only want those all seasons for the winter. You don't want them for the summer. You want a summer only tire so that you get the maximum amount of grip. I don't when need you're that. Driving, okay? I don't need that, folks. So. I guess the only counter so, argument. So, guy. Counter yeah, argument. Let, me, okay. let me finish real quick. So the only reason why I said that I think it's a better deal is because the Zer package is five hundred dollars. Okay. 
So instead of me not getting the Zer package and then mm-hmm. saying, you know what, I want summer only tires on this car, I would have to spend twenty five hundred on four S's. Now I'm spending five hundred on four S's. Wow. Okay. So the Zer is so is clearly what you want to get. That's what I want to get. Yep. Anybody that lives in a northern state that mm-hmm. wants to drive this car year round. Yeah. And they're okay driving on the all, all the season all, all in the summer. Don't get Zer package. Yep. Okay. So. Yep. Yeah. Zippity said, good move for the Zer. Yeah. I mean, that's the way I look at it. Maybe I'm looking at it wrong. Maybe I'm not right about saving $2,000, but to me, it feels like I'm saving 2000 bucks. Yeah. Or 1500 or well, whatever. Because you're looking at it because if you if that wasn't an option, you would automatically go get them and it would cost right. you $2,500 and... As we all know, used tires are worth nothing. Yeah. Well, not worth nothing, but they're worth half of what they right. should be. Well, worth. especially when these guys are through with them. Whew. Right. <laughs> <laughs> My used tires. Hey, why don't are... you tell us? So you got all in a huff earlier about what? Saturday and the whole captain and driving, and apparently I didn't follow the road captain so, rule of the law. So these young, <laughs> young, young kids these days, you know, I go to Darren's house, right? We're gonna we're gonna rally over to the car show, right? So Darren goes. This is gumball rally. This is gum. Mode. It's not. We're not race. So anybody that's done a rally Cannibal before run. with your Corvette Cannibal. clubs, you stick together. You stick in a line. You stay. You watch for your wingman. Darren gets in his new Z06, <clears> and all I see is a puff of smoke. <clears throat> and me and the guys behind me are like, I put it in track mode so you could hear it. Well, you hear it. Where's? Pop where's? D- I heard it for a little <laughs> while until I couldn't see you anymore. You're just weaving in between traffic. No, I wasn't. You stay with your wingman. I was but your wingman. You what? stay and you travel to. Together. What Mark is not telling you, though, is what? even if he got in his Yugo, he would still leave Mark in the dust. No, because I was getting me I and wasn't Jim, going that fast. G- Jim and I were getting on it, but he was, you know, in between like minivans and stuff. It's like stick together. So well, because anyway, you know why, I, was because, you know why I did that? Because I had my I didn't have the track wrap on and I don't want to be behind cars getting all kinds of stuff coming up. on my Sounds like Mark. By the way, we have a big congratulations to tell uh, Joey B. What? Hmm. Joey B's oh, car yeah, yeah, got yeah. built. Yeah. His E-Ray His got E-ray. built. Wow. Yeah. Very good. So congratulations, nice. Joey. It's awesome. No, I wasn't, Jeff. I was driving way over the speed limit to catch, and I'm thinking he he's got his yeah. radar detector on. He might have So I'm doing like 85, 87. You were actually surprised. I kept looking up. I'm like, come on. Come yeah. on. But What's I'm thinking, up, and Jim was behind me. I was didn't want to lose Jim, but I figured you had your detector on. Yeah, we were fine. Hey, so. Great White North Corvette is on. Yeah, long time no see. What's nice. up, Andrew? Doug Hooks, yep. Yeah. All right. Um, before we get to the main subject, <clears throat> by the way, I cannot wait to see who won that E-Ray. I hope it's me, but... Oh, what day was that drawing? Soon. It's it's on the 13th. Okay. It's coming up three days. Can you wow. still buy tickets? No. Wow. Oh. You couldn't buy tickets well, I after bought, the I bought some early, so I'm good. But right now, I'm going to go back to the Auburn Cord Duesenberg Automobile Museum giveaway, which is a brand new Z07 convertible Z06 in the beautiful Ooh. Riptide Blue. And I like that interior. That is a nice build right yeah. there. Yeah. That looks really good. How do they get the... the Isn't that gorgeous? But how do you do that? What do you mean? Oh, I thought it was Sky Cool. Wait, it isn't Sky Cool Gray, right? Yeah, yeah. Sky Cool it's Gray. A, how and do you get? Oh, because they're competition seats. You get all black seats that way. Uh, yeah, it's an override. Oh, really? That's a color override. Yeah, oh. and it's suede too. Uh huh. Wow. And it's got um, the engine appearance package, like yours. See, engine appearance package. It's a beautiful car. So you guys know the deal. You if you the, are, oh the, my bad, the names. A, yeah, the yeah. Name. I mean, if you, I'll take that car because my name's under the... There you go. If you guys want to buy nice. tickets right now, they are giving 50% more because you are a Brinka Speed watcher. So click on one of these tickets, and then the Brink 50 is already in there. By the way, these are the, the link is linked in the description below, and it'll be in the pinned comment afterwards for the replay. And that's April 13th. Put all your... No, 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 no. This is a totally different Different giveaway. one. All right. Yeah. Um, Put all your information in here, click continue, and it'll ask for your credit card information, enter it there, and you will be entered. So, that is a beauty. Very nice. And they're giving you $25,000, too. That's another amazing part about that. How much? $25,000? 25000 plus the car. Hey, Jim, yeah. how's it going? Dang. Jim, yeah. did you hear me yell Pretty at awesome, my, uh, Darren for not keeping up with us on our little rally up there? All right, so the main subject... 
Uh, that was a really cool video. We had talked about, you know, the last probably m- month or two, we've been talking about when is GM going to When's the tease teaser us? coming? Yeah. When's the teaser coming? Well, it With came. A, it came. Give credit to Clarence. Clarence called it. Yeah, Clarence did call it. it. Sure enough. He might have had some inside information. Yeah. I don't know. He always. Clarence always What's up, Jim Lee? Inside information. I know. He's the He's man. the inside guy. He's the man. Yes. Um, let's see. Derek Taylor. Oh yeah, you're. It's on the way, Derek. <laughs> In fact, I mailed out three things yesterday. So, yep, your uh, amazing sign. I tried. I was trying to think what it was that you won. You won that that uh, silhouette of the. Oh no, yeah, yeah. Davey, it's yeah. not. <clears throat> you probably will get it by it Friday, Thursday or Friday, tomorrow or Friday, because uh, I mailed it out yesterday morning. So, Davey Crockett says, "Is the zero one going to be at the bash?" I don't think so. Nah. Uh, maybe a cam over. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Don't maybe. say never. Yeah, you never say never. All right. Seagarner uh, Speed Clarence said, "I want the zero one as of yesterday." Of course. Are we officially talking about the zero one now? Yeah. Can we talk? All okay, right. So I have yeah. a gift for all three of us. Oh, we. What? Really? Yeah. What do you got? What to mean? Oh, okay. uh, 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 you're gonna get me on a waiting list. Surprises. You're gonna get me on a wait us on the waiting list for ZR1. Yeah, you're yes. number 146. <laughs> That's right. They're making 145. But it's a non-refundable deposit. Year. You gotta Venmo me cash tonight. Uh, let me get on the. Fo- let me uh, get on. Let me do it here. So for the last couple of years since the Stingray came out, right, or the the C8, we've been talking. We know the zero one's coming. Yeah. So I don't yeah, have psychic. I don't have psychic powers. I didn't predict that was going to happen today. <laughs> but with that being said, I had already bought some. We filmed this I, after the teaser. Well, whatever. Came out, but right? look, <laughs> ZR1 hats for what? everyone. Look at this. Get I've been saving these. Here. Our special, this is like having champagne. You look know, at celebrating. This. This is yes. Amazing. We're popping so we have, the cork, guys. We have Pro ZR1 hats on. Look at this. Holy cow! That's right. We are officially oh, ZR1 man. boys. And a couple Thank of us you. here may actually have a ZR1 too. Oh wow! This, this Just hat saying. looks huge on nice. me. Right. Thank you, sir. You're Appreciate welcome. it. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. All right. We're ZR1 ZR1 I have a small head. Can I go home now? It's going to sink down below us. <laughs> so you can't see him. Very nice. ZR1, baby. Yes, it's crazy. It's Thank real. You. Now that we got hats, it's, it's real, happening. Man. It's actually happening. We can say that. And I wanted to wait. I've been holding on to these, so all these awesome. rumors, Thank and I, I said I'm not going to release the hats until this. Until he even still has a tag. I know on they're it. brand. They've been in my closet. It's like mini pearl. He still got the tag on it. There you go. But now it's official. I feel like we can wear hats. We so, can talk about it. Do you guys want to see that video one more time? What do you mean, time? listen to the sound? Did they have a sound at the very beginning? They did. I did see, not hear okay, the sound. Okay. I was in an environment I couldn't crank up. up so. Yeah. <laughs> I was... Uh... <clears throat> Hang on. Let me go back. Mm, wow. I, I do feel like you could see the wing, and it's that wing that we saw. You going to play it again? Yeah, I got to let this commercial play. All right. Oh, wait. I can skip it right here. Oh my God, was that a commercial for? Oh, that's a no tool. Idea. That was a tool. <laughs> that was a tool. <laughs> for those of us on YouTube, you know which commercial we're talking about. Oh, yeah. yeah, I have no idea. Okay. Okay, I got to get off of this one. How do I get out of this? This this program is not easy to work sometimes. Can you um, live in the CR1? What's the square footage? <laughs> <laughs> that's perfect. Uh, you oh, can try. It depends on how many people are in the family. I got it. Okay. All right, let me... You're gonna see. So, you know, we're not going to hear it, so you got to tell us what the sound is. Yeah. Okay. We Everybody need to be listen. quiet. Be quiet because they don't listen to it. Yeah, they need to all hear this. So, for those of you who are just joining and you want to see the new ZR1 video, listen to it. Here it comes. What do they mean by unthinkable? Like, it means there's going to be a purple color. There's going to be new interior. It's all the stuff we've been talking about. Really? So, <laughs> yeah, I mean, unthinkable, I think, is because most people would have never, ever, ever thought that GM was going to do what they're going to do with the ZR1. Having twin turbos, having this crazy exotic engine, and crazy 850 horsepower. I think that's Good the Good Lord. Is that right? the number we're saying now? Well, that's the biggest number out there okay or are they or are they saying it's unthinkable eight because they're switching something up on us like between flat plane well correct. that's what we're going to talk about okay because that's a hint so the first thing wow. that i heard when i watched that video 
was that it didn't sound anything like a Z06. Nothing like a Z06. <clears throat> so that would mean... Tell it's me what you guys plane. think in the comments. So that means it wouldn't be a flat plane. It didn't sound anything like a Z06 to me. It sounded like a roaring V8. But I heard something else, too. I also <sighs> heard hissing like turbos. The wheel was giving out. The tire was losing pressure. No. <laughs> so I don't know if that's correct. I have no idea what the engine is. I've never claimed to know what the engine is. I know what my guess was, but it doesn't sound like a flat plane crank to me, unfortunately. I'm I'm disappointed. I was hoping... Mm. Well, isn't there some challenges with turbo, putting a turbo on a flat plane crank? Isn't there a lot of... Here's the, here's the thing. If you're Ferrari, there's no challenges. Okay. If you're McLaren, there's no challenges. Right. Those yep. are the people they who all do it. $5,000 oil changes. They all do all it. All right, all right. Um, I don't know if Chevy's going to do that or not, but I think that sound was the real sound. They're not going to tease us with a fake sound. I think that that was part of like the, just like you said, they put all these clues and things in yeah. the other videos. Yeah. That was a clue. That was a definite and the, clue. And the turbo hiss was a clue. Okay. In my opinion as well. So those are the two things that I got from it. <clears throat> I didn't really visually see anything that I was like, oh, look at that. I heard things. So, so somebody says it's a Z06 engine with cross-plane crank. Well, that's not a Z06 engine then. Well, it's, but there has been a rumor going that it would be a 5.5 liter okay. cross-plane instead of flat plane. Um, and isn't that what they... I'm going to say what I've always said, and that is I don't really care what they do. Obviously, I want the exotic engine that the Z06 has, but whatever they do with the ZR1, I'm going to be a fan of it because it's still going to have crazy power and it's going to be the most beautiful corvette that's ever been built mm -hmm. in my opinion yep and we've seen them actually out on camouflage right they yeah. actually brought it to nurburgring yeah. exactly so we kind of have an idea that it's going to look a lot like the current vet it's mm -hmm. not going to be too crazy no it, but there's a few big differences it's have a like bigger the hood wing, bigger and, wing hood yeah okay. maybe flared front fenders hopefully and hopefully we'll get some active arrow which mm. maybe they're saving for the zora but you know you never know yeah huh Wow. And they're going to, they said, what did the video say to be introduced or this summer? Marcus, so does that mean Carlisle? So, uh, yeah, we're, we're going to get to that for okay. sure. Um, so, I, I guess that's the, that was the very next point. Uh, because sorry. the second thing was listen to the sound. And then the third was, we, you know, can you uh, hear the turbos? And now the next point is exactly what you just said. So, this summer, what does that exactly mean? Well, summer ends September 21st, and the big, huge 40th, 30th anniversary of the of the Corvette Museum is on, is the September. The very beginning of September. For second, third, so yeah. then probably, Peg, that's when they'll have it out. For well, you have Carlisle right before it. I don't again, think they'll bring it out. To, well, again, maybe. I think I could be totally wrong about this. Zippity, what do you think? I think... It would be a gigantic mistake for GM not to have zero ones at Corvettes at Carlisle. Actual, like, uncamouflaged ones? Yeah, days? it'd be a huge mistake. Because think about it. When they had the Stingray, <laughs> well, you weren't there, but me and Clarence were there. When they brought out the Stingray, mm -hmm. it was gigantic. When they brought out the Z06, mm -hmm. it was gigantic. Mm -hmm. When they brought out the E-Ray, gigantic. Mm -hmm. So... If they're truly going to make a 2025 ZR1, which I still am under the impression that it could be pushed to uh, 2026, this this summer thing could just be, hey, we're going to reveal it to you this reveal, summer. Reveal, yeah. Sure. Um, but if they're truly going to get the ZR1 out to us in 2025, they have to have that car at Carlisle. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, have to. wait. I see C Garner Speed 252. He has a, a thought. It he will said happen. it will he says happen it's going to happen Carlisle. before Carlisle. Well, if it happens before Carlisle, they don't have to deal with they just well, it'll be a both. It'll Where a is a big thing to do before Carlisle? Well, someone said uh, Clayton said Le Mans. When's that? Le Mans is uh, June. July, June, yeah. June no, it's June. Yeah, June is summer. Yep. June twenty first. It could be Le Mans. Um, yeah, 
It could be. Revealed this summer. Probably still will not see it on the streets until, well, yeah. We won't see it on the streets until mid to late 2025, if you ask me. Well, but yeah, I mean. People that own it, owned cars. It would probably be starting to be built the same time that the 2026s. Well, maybe not. See, it Ron, would have to, Ronald no. Jackson says the zero ones will be at the bash like last year with the E Ray, but they said summer and the bash that is could, only in three weeks. Yeah, but that's not. Yeah, that's true. I don't know how. Yeah, there's. I don't think they could do it because they have They've to. They've been driving it. the camo cars around town, right? I mean, in Ohio on the the nickel, so, right. the triple that's nickel. That's not the reveal. So yes, they will probably be at the bash as camo cars for us to go walk up and touch. Yeah. You yeah. think you'll be able to walk up, though? Yeah, I do. Well, the only way to find out is but to be at the bash. Gonna, Meet us at the bash. they're only going to drive around. Meet us at the bash. Mark, they're only going to do that circle. Oh. So you're only going to get to see it for that. that when <clears> they <throat> did that for the original Stingray? Or they did it for all of them. When they just drove it around the circle and they took off. And you're like, wait, yeah, come yeah, back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. You're not going to be able to walk I up to it and do that. anything. No. All right, okay. Let me get your drone, have it just ready to go. Yeah, they'll be in camo. <laughs> follow it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. There'll be 10 drones cool following be? the car. It'd be amazing. So, yeah. Um, I don't know. The whole reveal thing, I'm not going to try and figure it out. I'm just excited that Chevrolet has finally acknowledged and told us, yes, there is a ZR1 and it's coming and you should get excited about it. Nothing more to talk about the rest of the year. <laughs> yeah, right. You know what's going to happen now? We're going to talk about the Zora. Well, but When's probably... It coming out? I, Constraints. I'm already predicting that probably towards the end of this year, we're going to start seeing meals again. And those mules are probably going to be Zoras. Zora mules, yeah. The, that's what they do. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What happened mm. to the Corvette SUV? That was a hot topic for a long time. And yeah, since then, you know it has gone. I think we will start seeing Corvette SUV meals, too. Wow. I really do. Don't look at me like that, Darren. <laughs> Jeff Dudas, he says. <laughs> I talked to someone that's pretty reliable at GM. He doesn't think there's going to be. That was all just Everybody up. has a reliable. I know. Well... <laughs> Clarence, will there be a Corvette SUV? Yes. Yeah. Yes or no? <laughs> Jeff Zippity, he, he's just laughing now. He's just throwing that out there. He's trying to get us See, going. He's trying to get ranch, us going. He agrees with the circle drive-by. I think that's all we're getting. Speaking of which, Clayton, are you going to the bash? I don't think he is. No? No. No, I don't think the plant manager is um, driving a ZR1 powered car right now. They don't have a car. To, oh, they! I think they're. I think some of the engineers are driving them. You think they're driving? Okay. I think Taj has one right now. I driving. remember hearing the interview in Corvette in Corvette today with Steve Garrett. I think they were when they interviewed the new plant manager. I thought he was driving an E-Ray, but Zippity, good question. He can drive whatever the heck he wants. Uh, Clarence didn't ask about the SUV. Well, you need to. You're not allowed to ask them about future projects. That's why Clarence is, right. is, is smart with those guys. You so, don't ask them about the future. So, Zippity, um, this is just, you know, off the top of my head. I'm not an expert. I mean, I'm, I'm not claiming this is fact or anything. I truly think the C8 is going to go till 2030. And the ZR1 will be built all the years that after it comes out till 2030. 26, 27, 28, 29. That's what I Four think. years. So, all right, um, but we'll see what happens. That could be way off. <laughs> and they did it with the uh, C6. Yeah. The only reason why they didn't do that with the C7 is because they, they were they were getting the C8 out. Right, they knew. Yeah, yeah. they knew. Yeah. So, so, Mike, what did you pick up on the mid-engine Corvette form? I think they had a couple of tidbits out there, like they had made some CTF cars, right? And, oh, yeah. One of there's, the, I mean, there's already been people at the plant that said they've seen the ZR1 and built. One of the blurbs was um, that they've got certain people that are only allowed to touch the cars in the plant. Yeah, and I'm going to be, I'm applying for that when I go to the bash. I'm going to apply to be one of the few people that are allowed to touch the ZR1s and move them around because they said you can't like rev them or rev them high. Now, they know that's not going to happen with me, so I'm going to be one. They'll, of the, they'll pick you. They'll pick me, so I'm yeah, going to be one day. of the special guys to move the Absolutely. ZR1s around the plant so nobody can hear it rev loud because they don't want people tick, uh, you know, tipped off as to what right. it is. Right. Very top secret stuff. And it's so interesting that the plant tour, which we will all be on, right, 
is at the bash is going they're allowing the plant to be open so they're either got covers on these cars oh they're not going to be i bet you they're not going to make a single zr1 while we're in the plant or or nothing's going no there's no way they've planned for this for months yeah we're going to see e-rays z06s and stingrays and hopefully we see a lot of e-rays yeah, it'd be Every, cool and everybody seen the other ones yeah yeah but everybody knows that right they opened the plant tours for that week they weren't going to they were only going to open it for the uh the right. anniversary in mm -hmm. september and we got that Which, last minute email saying they were opening it up. Have they said on the line how they do it with the E-Ray, Stingray, Z06? Because like the Z06 Stingray, how, how are they doing it? was like two to one and they would come across? Yeah, two no to one. No two same yep. cars so, could come across at the same time. E-Ray is like one, one every, every thousand cars. <laughs> <laughs> slow down the stingrays make the e-rays but I anyway know. that's so interesting <clears throat> that the zero ones are getting moved around and there's yeah, top yeah. secret and yep. yeah so guys we have a nice crowd on here if you haven't smashed that thumbs up please yeah, everybody do so. a thumbs up when was the last time we somebody would... did a did a sticker or what do they called again the oh the, the super chat the super chat yeah by the way i haven't mentioned this in a long time but if you would like to help support the brink of speed community um, this is my Vimbo. Some people like to do Vimbo. Some people like super chats and super stickers, but it helps us because we get to see your comments, especially with super chats. If you really want us to, to, you know, call oh. out your comment or whatever, give There's, us a super chat or a super thank sticker. Thank you, Derek. Derek That's hey, nice. Thank you very much. Mike can use it. He's got a new baby. That was easy He's not a new kid. Yeah. So everybody, everybody do the so same. It everybody benefits you. It benefits us. Everybody do two bucks. Give Mike, <laughs> give, give Mike a little love. He's got to buy diapers. He's got the new kid. All right. He doesn't so, get any sleep either. There's no sleep. Yeah, no empty. sleep. That's true. <laughs> uh, I get more sleep with uh, than Amber, though, because she's got to feed him. Yeah. But, yep. Um, yep. But he's amazing. Charlie Cancel is your absolutely e yeah. amazing. Yep. Cancel that. your E-Ray, Mike. Hold off. Well, but yeah. that, that's a good point, though. Yeah. If you're if you're legitimately in position to get a Z06 or any other, you know, car in the Corvette lineup, and you're going to hold out for a ZR1, mm -mm. you're just wasting time because no. yeah, don't hold out. Don't hold out because the ZR1 is still, yeah. and it's going to be so. To me, I feel like mm -hmm. they're still going to make very very few. Thank you, Scott T. By the way. Good to see you on here, Scott T. It's been a while. Yeah, you know what? He's he may be one of our Thank first you, uh, subscribers that gets to drive my car. He has oh, a, nice. he has, Scott, open invitation. When you're sweet, filling up to sweet. it, he's had some health issues, but yes, when you're filling up to glad it, he's back to come good. hit me up. Let's get you in that thing. Um, I had a picture I wanted to show you guys of Charlie, but oh, here we go. Bruno says it. he's got a ten week old puppy. Sleep, mm. ha. Yeah. What kind of puppy? You're gonna Let show. Me get this pulled up real quick. Yeah, it's a, it's an amazing picture of Charlie. He's pondering what Corvette he's gonna buy. <laughs> is the way I look at is it. Is he sleep through the night? Is he sleeping through the night? Um, he's doing better. It's only five, four months, right? Three months. Oh. Yeah, yeah. He's two and a half. Months two and a half. Oh my god! Yeah, I know he's not. Yeah. Thank you, Clay Ernest. Very nice. Great White North. Thank Andrew. you. Mike, thanks. Hey, you. Andrew. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Andrew, are you going to be at the bash? John. John Somerville. John comes through. I'm coming to the Lone Star Car amazing. Show in May. I'll see you there, John. That's right across the street from my house. What do they do there? I, I've, I it's went, awesome. I went one year right when it was actually closing. Long story. But. Yeah, yeah. No, it's it's a good show. You know, we used to do it at the Motor Speedway. They kind of had a so change. So where is it now? It used to be underneath the... Now, the underneath the yeah. overhang. Now it's in the in the uh, uh, at the Marriott, the golf really? the champion. Oh, is that better or worse? Thank you, David it's Crockett. Not, not as nice as being in at Texas Motor Speedway for sure. That Texas Motor Speedway, it was really cool because mm -hmm. you're at the speedway and you're in the overhang, and the speedway has got new management. I don't understand why All they're right. kind of doing cuteness that, anyway. overload. Cuteness overload. There you go. This is uh, Charlie pondering what he's going to buy. Thank you, John. Which, which Corvette he's going to buy. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> is that that onesie that I gave him or no? Is that a different onesie? No, that's onesie? a different one. Different yeah. one. Yeah. He's got the child with seven Corvette onesies. <laughs> <laughs> Davey oh, Crockett. Uh, Thank Doug you, Hooks. baby. Thank, Thank you, Davey. Thank you, Doug Hooks. Appreciate the Venmo. Mm, Thank you. Yep. Doug always coming through. Oh, yeah. Yep. He was talking about, wasn't he just talking earlier about getting ready to sell his uh, Z06, C8 Z06? Oh, was he? I think he was Thank chattering you, John. about that. John R., see yep. what I did there? No, what did you do, John? What did you, oh, I'm sorry, I was he talking put, on top of He put a balloon, a number one, a number and, one a and a heart. And a, nice. Very nice. 
Zippity, thank you, Jeff. So, See you at the bash. Thank you, Bruno. He Charlie is, yes, a very good looking little boy. He's very special. God gave us an amazing He's gift. Have D eighty five in his veins this very shortly. Thank you, Zippity. See you at the bash. That's right. Yep. Can't wait to see you guys. Okay, who wants to win the uh, dive plane? Mm. We're giving that away right now, okay. and, then we'll, and then we'll give away the other stuff. Get but, your your chat uh, GP ready for the questions. No, I don't think they but, can chat GPT this one. They may. Who knows? No, no, not on this. This is the actual giveaway. This is pick a random winner. All right, so guys. Oh, okay. Just so you see. Here's all the names. There's 611 total. This is for anyone that bought. You got 30 entries per shirt. Still some shirts on the website. All sizes. Well, not all. Well, pretty, most all sizes. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Okay. So now we're going down to pick a winner and we're going to hit start. And whatever this lands on is the winner of the dive planes. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Oh, Are you I thought pushing I that start. Up? There we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Mark oh Turner. my gosh, oh, Mark Turner. We can install. We can do an install. Congratulations. He oh, won he, dive plane. Is he Mark on Turner here? Won. He's, he's going to oh, be doing And he's in town. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's right. Mark, Mark, Mark T. T. Oh, Mark T. Mark Turner. Y -N -V. Yeah. Y -N Mark. All right. Well, go meet at my house. Is he on here? Uh, he was earlier. He was earlier. I don't know about now. Oh, I'll take him off. He's out. Yeah. Yeah. I'll take Pick him the next. Thank you, Keith. You have to be present to win. have to be present to win. still on. Mark T. No, wow. he wins no matter what. I know. Mark T. There he is. Wow. Yes. All right. There Heck yeah, is. dude. You got the front dive planes. He wanted those bad, too. He did. Only, it's only one. It's you awesome. have to buy the other one. No, I'm just kidding. You get two. You yeah. Get two. That's really cool. I, I'm super thrilled that it worked out it for is. someone that actually owns a Stingray and yes. they're one in town. Them. Yeah, he wants them bad. That's wow. amazing. Yeah, he's in town. We saw him at the uh, Vet Syndicate. Oh, yeah. We, saw we him always at the see Mark Syndicate. T. Mark T comes out to everything. Mark T's, yeah. <laughs> it's awesome, man. Wow. It, it really couldn't have gone to a nicer guy. Yep. Perfect. You know, technically, if uh, one of us brings our rivet gun, we could do it at Corvette World on Saturday. Is Corvette World this coffee. Saturday? Corvette's and Corvette's coffee. And coffee. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and do some giveaways for... Uh, I think a key tag and a poster. Is Trevor on today? Have mm, you seen Trevor? No, he's probably working. Oh, he's working. Thank you, Keith French. Appreciate it. You guys um, are amazing. Who's, whose question's going first, mine or Mark's? I'd love to do mine. Okay. Okay, everybody. <laughs> I, I, I ask about uh, 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 Trevor because he always makes oh fun of gosh. me for my print and paper. So you see. Hang on, hang on one second. What? Thank Go you, ahead. Jose. Go ahead, what? Thank you, thank you. He just gave a huge super chat. Wow. Thank, thank you. you very much. Awesome. For the BOS CEO, Charlie B. Yeah, he runs the show. He sure does. Sure All right, does. so Trevor makes fun of me for my print magazines and my newspapers that I get, but this is a pretty cool magazine. This is Motor Trend, the most recent issue, and they talk about the top 10 greatest cars of our time. Top 10 icon cars of all time. And they go through all of them. Porsche, uh, 911, Jeep CJ Wrangler, Mazda Miata. But they had to pick the number one. There's a Tesla Model S, Volkswagen mm. Beetle, the top 10 cars of all time. But the number one icon car in the world is Chevy Corvette. So pick up your issue. Pick up your issue of Motor Trend and you can read. That's it's so awesome. it's so refreshing to read something that's not on a screen. Try it, guys. It's it's every now and then you look at the magazines like old times. You read it, and you don't have that 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 image. You know, especially at night when you're trying to watch your phone and it makes you stay up and the, the bright lights. Anyway, um, sounds anyway. like a bad commercial. So anyway, keep these All guys right, alive. So keep Motor Trend alive. By the way, here's my Corvette magazine, most recent issue. Are you going to open it or are you going to keep that in the wrapper like your car? Uh, no, I keep this in the wrapper. I don't open any of my <laughs> magazines. So shut up. He's so such a smarty. He's Mark, such a... do we have a question or are you just going to talk about the magazine? No, we're going to talk okay. about the magazine and my question. Oh, okay. All right. So All right. the question is, how many times... Everybody ready? Yeah. How many times has the Corvette 
been on the cover of Motor Trend magazine oh, since the very beginning of 75 years. Is this one of those it. ones where you have to choose the squares, and if it was just off to the side, does that count? You know what I'm talking about? Like, oh, yeah, no, it's, fire a or whatever. it's a cover. The okay. cover photo of Motor Trend magazine over the past years. How many where times has Corvette made? Oh, I see it. I see it. Okay, okay, well, Clayton City, oh, geez, he had. Uh, uh, Chat GPT ready to go. So let's see how Clayton does. <laughs> I'm gonna, um, we're cutting off your Chat GPT. I uh, love it. Ah, we got it. Who did? Clayton, who got, seriously, Clayton? Really? Did he get it? <laughs> oh my gosh! Did he get the he, answer? He wasn't kidding. He was not. He got the answer. <sighs> so, 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 Clayton, can you? Like, take a picture. It said, did you just basically get into, like, Google? Or how do you answer? get these answers? Like, well, who was just telling Keith? Was it Keith French was telling us? He just he, he had his phone on a uh, microphone, and it yes. gave the answer in 10 yes. seconds. So you can say, how many times has the Corvette been on the cover of Motor Trend? And you get the damn answer. How do they know that? It, so, must, it must search every single, like, he obviously. Said Google is free. Uh, <laughs> so you just, that's actually out in Google. Did it go to the Motor Trend uh, did it go to the Motor Trend website? All right, Clayton, I'm sending you a poster. Hey. Because actually, I got it from this magazine. That's actually a question in this magazine. Okay, it says, well, guess what? Corvette has made the it. The next seven question, they can't chat they can't. GTP so or time. Google. Well, how on earth? Everything you, every <laughs> trivia question. Try it, though. <laughs> okay, okay. So, so next question is a BOS uh, key, tag. key tag. Yeah. Okay, so this is in regards to. The answer is 114, by the way. I yeah. know what they actually said. Yeah, Did I you say it? 114. Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay, so question is, on my brand new 2024 Z06, how many miles do I have on it? How many miles on my 2024 Z06? And you had it how long? By, one, by the way. One week. My wife said Google answers that right away. Good question. You need, hey, you need to test these before but you don't worry. Just pre-screen. <sighs> we right. got a great idea from Keith French last week, yeah. and we're going to roll with those from now on. I can't come up with my questions anymore? Yeah, but they have to be mm. along the lines of Keith French's idea. We'll so we'll go later. over that All later. Right. Right? All right. Keith All French right. had a great idea. Okay, right. so again, how many qu or how many miles on my how many miles 2024 on the Z06 that I've owned for s eight days? And remember, you did have to... I drove you, it home. You drove it home from the dealership, so... Uh, what is your mileage? Well, you can't... Somebody's already really close. Oh, my gosh. Right? She's wearing the tires down. God. Yeah. I had to put new tires on it. Look. Yeah, you did. You put new tires on it. Yeah. Someone close? Yeah, look. Right here. Uh, he's a winner. He's a previous winner, too. Do you want to call him? Well, uh, hang on. Let's see if somebody gets it right on the nose. Come Again, on. It's been eight days, so. Who's the closest? Hang I don't on. I'm say, not yeah. saying that. Oh, you're not. No, I'm saying who, what name is the closest. No, I'm not saying say that. that. Okay, all right. No, and you can guess that. more than once. But he's a previous yeah. winner. Yeah, he's a previous winner. So far, nobody's closer. And we have a tie now. Ah, uh, well, we have to go. The first guy wins. Yeah, of course. Come on, guys. Keep question. Keep doing it. We'll go. Keep guessing. What? Another thirty seconds, and then we're calling it. Fifteen seconds. Fifteen seconds. Okay. Come on. Count in your head, Mark. I don't think you I count that getting, high anymore. Some of you guys are getting really close. One, People two, three. Supercar <laughs> Ranch. One, two, three, four, five. The smart thing. Oh. Good God. People are Since we told, well, we'll wait for it to end. Night Fighter says f almost 5,000 <laughs> in a week. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, we're cutting it off. We probably should yeah, end it. We're cutting it off it. now. We're done. The smart thing would have done is everyone would have done plus one or minus one because we said you were so close. That would have changed some things. But that's yep. okay. So we're going to... So it's Vet Sweetness. Vet Sweetness. What uh, was his guess? Six, what was, six, he was the first person to get 600. 602 miles. Yeah. In a week. So what does that translate out to a year? So congratulations. 52 times 6 is what? Huh? What's 52 times 6? 100. That's how many miles he's going to have oh. on it in a year. Yeah. No, well, no. to be fair, it was 440 miles home. Yeah, so. from the... Yeah. Yep. But I still that's 160 miles roughly. And, yeah. Of, and that's, that's a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Not bad. Okay. Well, uh, I think I have Vet Sweetness's information, and I know I have Clayton's information, so I'll mail those out. Um, but that is going to wrap up our live. Thank you guys so much for joining us. We had a great crowd tonight. It was exciting to talk about the ZR1, especially now that. GM has actually shown us 
hey, we're making a ZR1. If you're new to the channel, we do this every Wednesday night at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. It's called Octane <laughs> Hour. And uh, if you want to make sure that you're notified when we do these, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell for notifications. But you guys have a wonderful rest of your, of your evening, and we'll see you next Wednesday on Octane Hour.